Welcome, NMPC Limited. This is the final ceremony that births the biggest limited liability company in Nigeria. The ceremony witnessed the symbolic folding of the flag of the Nigeria National Petroleum Corporation, signifying its end. It is a rebirth for the Nigeria National Petroleum Company Limited. This is the final call to ceremony that marks the beginning of a new era. Everything an NPC ceases to exist. 46 years of the corporation's existence is now laid to rest. Operating in line with the provisions of the Companies and Allied Matters Act, all assets, liabilities and interests have now been transferred to the Nigeria National Petroleum Company Limited. The company will now be answerable to stakeholders and shareholders. Let us keep in mind the real purpose of this transformation. It is not to stifle the private sector in the Nigerian oil and gas industry. It is to encourage growth, attract investment, and maximize the dividend to the investors. As a regulator, I believe that NMPC is transiting to where it will obey the law to the latter. So I said I must be here to see today uh, so that we can work together to ensure that we sanitize the industry. The group chief executive officer of NNPCL says in 2018, the company lost 803 billion naira. In 2019, the loss reduced to 2.3 billion naira. While in 2020, the tide turned and the country earned 287 billion naira. In 2021, the profit climbed to 674 billion naira. It is expected that profits will climb further in the 2022 report. We have crossed 1.6 million barrels per day and we have a line of sight to recovery to the level of the budget level of 1.8. Melikiari acknowledged that the payment of subsidy on petroleum products has continued to drain cash flow for the company. There's a delta of close to 202 naira for every liter of product we import into this country. 202 multiplied by 66.5 million liters multiply by 30 will give you over 400 billion naira of subsidy every month. You will agree with me that it is extremely challenging for a continuer to fund this from the cash flow of the company when you do not get refunds from the Ministry of Finance. So we are working with them. While we believe that oil and gas will continue to be a substantial part of the energy mix worldwide, we should strive not to be left behind in fully transforming into an energy company with interest in both renewables and non-renewable energy sources. If it made profit in maybe the last two years of its existence as a corporation, now that it's a limited company, the profit should escalate. It should do everything according to best practices. Industry watchers have high expectations, but will the new Nigeria National Petroleum Company Limited successfully rehabilitate Nigeria's Murray Bond refineries, end oil theft, and grow the oil and gas sector? This will be known in years to come. Georgina Ndukwezainka, Arise News.